Let's unbox this uh, SSD made by Silicon Power. Uh, it's an M.2 uh, SSD, 256 gigabytes. And what is so great about this uh, SSD is this uh, non-volatile memory express 1.3. Uh, be very careful when you buy M.2 SSDs because not every SSD will have this protocol and uh, non-volatile memory express. Uh, for example, a classic um, SSD, a normal SSD, will have uh, speeds uh, between, for writing and uh, reading, uh, speeds between uh, 400 megabytes per second and 500 megabytes per second. Well, this SSD has 3 gigabytes per second. So, 3000 megabytes compared with a classic SSD that has 400 or 500 megabytes and the difference is this non-volatile memory express um, the the other one uh, the other ssd will use another protocol it's called sata bus uh, and the speed it's up to maximum 600 megabytes per second this one with uh, non-volatile memory express um, uses uh, another protocol uh, it's called PCI Express and uh, with this you will reach speeds up to 3 gigabytes per second for example this um, this uh, SSD uh, 8 grams by the way uh, will reach 3 gigabytes um, per second for file transfer for reading so it's crazy. I have another one made by Intel. It's uh, an Intel uh, 760p. Uh, another great, great uh, M.2 uh, PCI uh, Express non-volatile memory SSD. So be very careful when you when you get an SSD for your laptop, even if you see, as, as I said, this M.2 on them. Uh, search for this NFM. Express uh, NFME Express on them non volatile memory express basically that uh, that is uh, the entire uh, name. Um, if you see this, you'll get that uh, huge speed uh, three gigabytes uh, per second for your uh, SSD. I will uh, I will post a speed test to see this uh, this huge uh, this huge speed and also I will show you the difference with another uh, SSD, with a classic SSD that doesn't have um, this protocol, this PCI Express uh, protocol uh, and uh, non and it's not a non-volatile memory Express. Um, it will use uh, the classic, um, uh, the SATA bus, as I said, it's called. So this is it, silicon power. It has a very good price at this moment for 256 gigabytes and for these speeds, 3 gigabytes per second, it's crazy. Let me show you the speed and um, this is it. So let me show you the speeds of this SSD M.2 um, from uh, Silicon uh, Power. Uh, I have here a file 822 megabytes and here we have my SSD as you saw it uh, previously and here I have another SSD uh, this one uh, free of space a normal SSD without these uh, huge speeds up to 3 gigabytes per second so it doesn't have that um, uh, volatile memory express this one let's see how fast can we copy this to this uh, to this SSD uh, now we will transfer the file from an external hard drive connected via USB 3.0 so we will transfer it here and after that here on the silicon power memory so first of all this classic SSD so let's paste it and let's see how fast okay this fast. Now let's transfer it here. Oh, 
Okay, let's cancel. Sorry, let's go here to download on the same SSD and let's paste it. <laughs> In a blink of an eye. Uh, see how fast it is. Let me show you again. Let's uh, let's transfer it again. This PC, one gigabyte. Let's copy it here on a normal SSD again. Paste. Replace it. Look. You will have to wait a few seconds. Okay. Now again let's copy it here let me delete this one and paste and it's here in in half in in a blink of an eye uh, instantly um okay let's try this let's duplicate this on the silicon power ssd with uh, volatile memory with pci express Three gigabytes. Look, look how fast we create copies. One gigabytes, one gigabyte per second. Now we have already um, eleven copies of the same. Basically, eleven uh, gigabytes. Let's try the same on this uh, on this SSD. A classic SSD with SATA bus uh, transfer rate basically three four hundred megabytes per second look the first copy oh my god it's a huge huge difference imagine that you will have a file with five uh, five gigabytes or ten gigabytes how long it will take you to to do this on a normal SSD here it's super fast